Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're going to take you through the new Harmony Luxe collection from Beautyrest, which you're going to start to see in stores for the first time in 2020. Now this replaces what was previously called the Beautyrest Platinum Collection, and it's got a host of new features, including some that are specifically designed with sustainability and positive environmental impact in mind. We're excited to show it to you. Stick around. Now in total, there are going to be nine models in this new collection, and they start at $10.99 and they go up to $19.99. And those prices are queen size MSRP for just the mattress by itself. But within that, you're going to have two different levels. So uh, the first level, which you're probably going to see in most stores referred to as the Carbon Series, contains five models, and those cap out at about $14.99 in a queen size. The second level, uh, which starts at about $16.99 and goes up from there, you're probably going to see referred to as the Diamond Series, and that contains the other four models. Now, the two key hallmarks of the Harmony Lux collection are center zoning and sustainability, but we're going to start with sustainability because we really think that's the most interesting and unique aspect of the Harmony Lux story. To explain it, though, i got to give you just a little background first. Uh, the, the top surface of a mattress often uses polyester fiber. Now, polyester uh, is a material that does require the use of depletable resources to make, like petroleum. Uh, now, you can make polyester from uh, recycled resources, like plastic. Uh, typically, uh, that is a process that takes plastic from recycling centers or even landfills, and it, it is able to clean it and process it and turn it into polyester. Um, now that is obviously a little bit more of an expensive process than creating what's called virgin polyester, but it's also more sustainable. What Beautyrest has done here is they've taken that a step further. They have partnered with a company called Sequel. Now Sequel does make recycled polyester fibers and yarns, but rather than getting their plastic from recycling centers and landfills, which is still great by the way, they get it from the ocean. Now, what you may or may not know is that the ocean, unfortunately, is full of plastic. In fact, there's even a thought that uh, within a relatively short amount of time, the ocean, the total weight of all of the plastic in the ocean could even exceed the total weight of all of the marine life in the ocean. And obviously, the marine life in the ocean is being harmed by that plastic. So SQL came up with a very clever system whereby they actually pay fishermen to uh, Provide, to bring them plastic from the ocean. and Because what, what happens is fishermen, typically they cast their nets down into the ocean and when they're pulling those nets back up, they're not only getting what they were after, the, the fish or what have you, they're also getting a ton of plastic, which is a, typically just a burden for the fishermen. But by, create, by, by offering to pay these fishermen for that plastic, they've essentially created an incentive system for those fishermen to bring the plastic back with them rather than leaving it in the ocean. So again, this is a, a, a level higher in terms of like a more involved process, a more expensive process. Uh, this, this plastic obviously has to be uh, not only retrieved from the fishermen and, and purchased from the fishermen, but it also has to be then cleaned and they take this plastic, they, they chip it down uh, into little pieces, uh, then they, then they uh, kind of melt it into pellets like these, uh, and then ultimately it gets turned into uh, polyester fiber like this, uh, which is actually strong fiber here. Now obviously this is a much more involved and expensive process that SQL uses to create its recycled polyester, but it addresses not one, but two key issues. One is the uh, use of depletable resources, and two is helping to pull plastic out of the ocean. So Beautyrest, in a sense, has made an investment in helping to address both of those issues by using SQL's fiber in its new mattresses. And in fact, with every queen size mattress in this Harmony Lux collection, you can think of it as the equivalent of pulling about 50 of these water bottles out of the ocean. So we think that is a, a pretty cool and very unique uh, aspect of the Harmony Lux story. So just to continue with the features that all of these Harmony Lux mattresses have in common, we've already talked about the use of sequel polyester fiber, uh, which in every Harmony Lux mattress comprises about 40 to 50 percent of the total fabric used in this top panel. Um, the next area of features that they're all going to have in common uh, relate to the support unit. The support unit of, of the uh, Harmony Lux collection is the same in every mattress. And what's new about it is that they've uh, introduced a focus on extra support underneath the center third of the mattress, which is designed to provide extra support uh, underneath what for all of us is the heaviest part of our bodies, our hips. 
Uh, so to achieve that, uh, what they did is they actually created a new coil. So if you've ever seen our coverage of the Beautyrest Black Collection, you're probably already familiar with uh, what's called the T3 Twisted Cable Coil. Uh, and it's uh, kind of a similar premise to the cable that you might see used in a suspension bridge where they've got strands of, of steel um, that they've uh, intertwined together to create uh, something that's even stronger than just a single strand of steel. They've done that here with three strands of steel, that's why they call it the T3 coil, uh, and then uh, twisted that into the shape of a coil to create a really sturdy, durable coil that is uh, completely unique to Beautyrest Black. For the Harmony Lux collection, they actually created a, a version of this or a similar version of this that's called the T2. And it actually just takes, um, instead of three coils and strands them together, it takes two. Uh, so what you can find is that when you compare the two, uh, both of them are, are significantly and noticeably uh, firmer, uh, more supportive than uh, a traditional pocketed coil. Um, but uh, uh, you could definitely tell that like the T2 is kind of in between the T3 and, and the uh, uh, standard pocketed coil. Um, so what they've done is uh, the T2, it turns out, is uh, it's too firm to have every coil in the center third be T2. So they have, instead, they have every other row within that center third is, uh, is this T2 coil. Uh, and then the rest of the mattress is the standard Beautyrest pocketed coil. Uh, and what that does overall is it just gives that a little bit of extra support uh, where you need it most underneath uh, your hips. So in terms of the other characteristics of this support unit that is shared by all Harmony Lux mattresses, uh, you're looking at an 800 series uh, coil system. So what that means is that the coil density of 850 coils uh, based on the queen size. Uh, and you're gonna have in each case, it's gonna be a, a foam perimeter going around the edge of the mattress uh, with firm foam uh, to give that mattress a really strong edge uh, when you sit on it or lie on the edge. Uh, and then uh, in each case, of of course, this is all going to be uh, adjustable base compatible as well. Another thing that all the Harmony Lux models have in common is this side panel. So uh, a couple things to point out about it. One is just kind of an interesting uh, pattern that just kind of catches your attention uh, on this side panel. It's not something we see in a lot of other mattresses. Uh, and then the other is, of course, they've got these uh, functional handles. So that's just something handy to help you uh, reposition the mattress, rotate it, or even uh, move it around your house if you need to. The next feature you're going to find in all of the Harmony Lux mattresses is phase change material applied directly to the sleep surface, right on top of this cover. Uh, and this is actually a little bit of a change from the Beautyrest Platinum line that this is replacing, where there was phase change up near the top of the mattress, but it was actually just below the cover. Uh, they've moved it to uh, on top of the cover to hopefully increase the impact that it has on you. Phase change material, as you may already know, is uh, a cooling feature. It's effectively uh, tiny microscopic wax beads that as that wax inside them um, is heated from the heat from your body, it melts. And then as it melts, it's it pulls heat from your body, which creates a cooling sensation. So, uh, so that is a cooling feature of all Harmony Lux mattresses. And the last feature that all of these Harmony Lux mattresses do have in common is the use of what they call a right temp uh, foam in the uh, quilt panel of the mattress. So what right temp is, is essentially a carbon fiber poly foam. Um, you can see here, it's uh, the carbon is, gives it that gray color. Carbon being a conductor does help heat uh, travel more effectively away from your body. So that's why they put it up at the top of the mattress to give it a bit of a cooling sensation. Um, and it's either in each case, depending on the feel of the mattress, it's, it's uh, either the very top of the quilt or it's one inch down in the quilt. But in each case, it's about this one inch layer of this material, uh, which by the way, also has a, kind of a convoluted pattern to it. It's not the traditional convoluted egg crate type, it's more of a wave pattern. Um, but uh, that's gonna be something that is shared across all Harmony Lux mattresses. So now that we've covered all the things that really all Harmony Lux mattresses are gonna have in common, uh, let's talk about how the models change as you kind of move up through the line. And we'll start in the uh, first level of the line, uh, which contains those five models. And again, is most likely gonna be called Carbon Series in the stores near you. Uh, and we're right now on the entry level model in that series, which is the Extra Firm. And this is pretty illustrative of the range of feels you're gonna find here, because this one we would characterize as a firm on our softness scale. Uh, and Definitely has more of that shallower cushioning depth for people who uh, don't really want to have that hugged or cradled sensation, prefer, prefer to sort of sleep on their mattress rather than in. 
Uh, but as you move up through the line, you're going to get other feels, all of which are going to be softer to varying degrees. Uh, and you're also going to get different profiles. So this one here, for example, is a 12 and a half inch mattress. The pillow tops at the top of this carbon series portion of the Harmony Lux line are about are almost 16 inches thick. So uh, quite a substantial difference in terms of the profile, uh, but in terms of the softness and other feels, we would probably say that, um, again, this would be a firm at the top, the softest pillow top, we'd probably say uh, is, is a soft or very close to it on our softness scale. Uh, and then some of these other ones in between would, would sort of fall in that medium, medium soft, medium firm type range. So you, you're gonna have your choice of softness levels. In general though, what we would say uh, in terms of memory feel, for example, while all of these carbon series ones do have about a half inch of memory foam, you're not gonna get a whole lot of memory feel. In general, less than average amount of memory feel uh, on the carbon series mattresses. Um, in terms of uh, cushioning depth, we'd probably say on average, with this being of course uh, a noteworthy exception, on average in this carbon series, we'd say cushioning depth slightly deeper than average. And likewise, bounce is gonna be slightly higher than average in all these carbon series. And then in terms of uh, recognizing the carbon series mattresses, they're all gonna have this kind of white themed cover uh, that sort of sets them apart from the uh, diamond series portion of the collection that we'll show you next. So now we've moved up to the top of the carbon series portion of the Harmony Lux collection. And at this level, you actually do have a choice of feels. They're both pillow tops. You have a medium pillow top and a plush pillow top. We're on the plush pillow top just to give you uh, a, a, the best sense of the kind of uh, polar extremes uh, of the feels available in this carbon series portion of the line. We were just on the extra firm, uh, and that would be the firmest really in all of the Harmony Lux collection. Uh, and this certainly would be the softest in the carbon series portion of the collection. Uh, you can probably see readily uh, just me sitting on this mattress, how much deeper uh, I'm sinking into it. Um, that's illustrative of just like how much more cushioning depth, how much more hugged and cradled sensation uh, you get on this particular model. Uh, likewise, how much more surface softness you're gonna find on this particular model. Uh, so that kind of gives you a sense of the two extremes within this carbon series portion of the line. All right, so now we've moved up to the upper part of the Harmony Lux collection. And again, you're most likely to see this part of the line referred to in your local stores under the name Diamond Series. And what you get here uh, in this upper part of the line is two new features. The first of which is what they call surface touch gel memory foam, which is this three quarter inch layer of gel memory foam. You can see here, it's a very quick responding gel memory foam, almost uh, doesn't have that sort of slow responding characteristics that we normally associate with memory foam. Uh, but presumably uh, you're gonna still get a lot of those other properties that we typically associate with memory foam, like the pressure relief and the conformance and so forth. And this uh, foam lives directly below the cover in all of these Diamond Series uh, models. Uh, and then what you have uh, below that, you have a one inch layer of what they call micro diamond memory foam. Now this is uh, a specific type of memory foam that previously was only available at the Beautyrest Black level. Uh, we've talked about it in some of our previous videos uh, about Beautyrest Black, so if you haven't seen those, go ahead and check those out. We go into more detail about the features of this, but suffice to say, uh, it definitely has a lot more of that ooey gooey kind of uh, slow responding characteristic that we um, typically think of when we think of memory foam. And likewise, uh, I should add that both of these are going to have properties that are going to help heat travel more effectively away from your body. So in addition to the kind of memory foam characteristics, you're also gonna have some cooling characteristics of both of these foams. But in total, an inch and three quarters of me additional memory foam you're gonna find in all of these Diamond Series models. Now in terms of the different feels available in this Diamond Series portion of the line, you've got four models at essentially two price points, $16.99 and $19.99. At the $16.99 level, which is where I am right now, you're gonna have uh, your choice of feel uh, of two different tight tops, a medium and a plush. Uh, and then at the $19.99 level, it's going to be two different pillow tops, a medium pillow top and a plush pillow top. Uh, and we've, what we found is that the uh, feels in the tight tops are actually a little closer together in feel than the, than the pillow tops are, which are a little bit further apart in their feels. Uh, specifically, we'd characterize the softness, for example, of the one I'm on right now, which is the medium tight top, uh, to be about a medium firm, and the plush we characterize as maybe a medium on our softness scale. Uh, whereas at the pillow top level, we'd probably call the uh, medium pillow top something more like a, a medium firm, although even actually surprisingly a little bit firmer than this 
uh, medium tight top, uh, but still in that medium firm bucket. Uh, and then the, uh, the plush pillow top we would characterize as up close to a soft on our softness scale, albeit towards the firmer end of that soft classification. Uh, and then of course, uh, in terms of other uh, feel characteristics, uh, the biggest difference between all of these Diamond Series models and the Carbon Series models that we showed you earlier is going to be that they're going to tend to have a lot more memory feel, above average memory feel in fact, uh, whereas the Carbon Series mattresses were all uh, what we'd characterize as a below average or less than average memory feel. There's no above or below in terms of better or worse, it's just a preference thing. So, um, But you're going to have, because of the uh, inch and three quarters uh, memory foam that you're going to find in all of these, you're going to have at least some amount of memory feel in all of these. And actually when you get to the pillow top level, the key difference as you step up from the tight top to the pillow top is it adds three additional inches of memory foam in, uh, in both the plush and the medium pillow top. So uh, those are going to have even more of that uh, slow responding memory feel. Uh, bounce wise, they're going to be relatively similar to the Carbon Series, although maybe just on, uh, on, the, on the margin, just slightly less bounce than the Carbon Series. Uh, and in general, similar to the Carbon Series, we'd say that these models tend to have a little bit deeper than average cushioning depth. And then in terms of spotting these Diamond Series models, uh, just like the Carbon Series, they're all going to have the same cover as each other, uh, which in this case is a, this sort of gray tone cover, so you'll easily be able to uh, recognize any of these Diamond Series models. All right, so we hope you found this to be a helpful overview of the new Harmony Lux collection from Beautyrest. For more helpful information on how to find the right mattress for you, go to goodbed.com. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and we really hope you sleep well. Thank you.